Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to Aqua Creep. This is a spin-off of Astro Creep, which, if everything has gone correctly during this recording session, you will have already seen. Now, if I recall correctly, it's kind of like the thing in which, like, I can't tell which one of my friends has been eaten by a murderous demon. And it's gonna eat me if I'm not careful, so we're just gonna go on in and be gonna save my friends. Uh see so we have a uh, quick what the uh cast of characters hang on just one second. Oh, it turns out I'm an idiot. I almost skipped the intro sequence. Don't worry about it. I will adjust the audio in post, but good lord, is this deafening for your boy. I mean, this is quite breathtaking, like, to be quite honest, it's very impressive. I wasn't quite sure how I felt about the uh, the 3D style of this game, but it's kind of growing on me. Okay. Change from wetsuit. Hey, bud. Storm's definitely rolling in. Looks like it's gonna be a rough one. You need a hand with anything out there? Nah, I can take care of this. What are you gonna do? Um. Let me go see if anyone needs any help with the storm. Looks like all the major equipment has been stored away already. But it couldn't hurt to ask around. Well, I better get my shit together here before it lets loose on us. My guess is it's gonna last all night. Maybe longer. Interesting. regular clothes and I can do my regular person things. Anything here I can use? Nothing? Okay. Dying when needs help in the restroom, but just in case. Yeah. That was a dumb idea. Steve, what's a good word? Not a whole lot. But no news is good news, right? Heck of a storm brewing out there, ain't it? Uh, anything I can do to help with the preparations, my dude? Nothing here for you to do. Most of the essential equipment is locked away for safety. There's some minor procedures here in the lab, but it's nothing we can't handle on our own. Thanks, though. Should be a pretty heavy storm. The radar was showing a lot of red. We'll be fine, though. The Institute keeps our preparations pretty thoroughly stocked. Okay. Isabel, everything cool? I suppose. The storm is most inconvenient. The timing couldn't be worse. We were making excellent headway on the project, and now we have to put it all on hold to prep the facility before it hits. Um, uh, sorry to hear that. Anything I can do to help speed things up? I appreciate that, Dean, but no, not really. Frankly, the situation just sucks, and there's nothing to do but wait it out. I just hope we don't lose power. That could create critical circumstances for the project. Look, I don't mean to brush you off or anything, but I need to focus on getting some things in order. I'll speak to you later, okay? Hmm. Hmm. 
would seem that everyone's not interested in talking to me, which is uh, concerning. This is no fetch quest, though. Crew quarters. Sup, jerk. There you are. I was worried I wasn't going to meet my asshole quota for today. Have fun playing Aquaman this morning. Uh... Hmm. I'm just gonna be the straight laced guy. Oh, what? Too much time underwater make you too sensitive to take a little joke. Man, I thought you were a little tougher than that. But no, just packed away and cleaned the last of the gear. Hey, by the way, you heard the crew is meeting up in the rec room for the storm, right? I'll be the one getting drunk off my ass, so come have a beer with me later, okay? Alrighty. I thought I saw cool posters in here. Okay, so I guess now what should do in here? I was finished checking the pier and everything should be good to go. Oh well that's the rec center. Security room and the helipad. So Let's start with security room and rec room, and then we'll be good to go. Whoa. Okay. Hello. Hey there, Irma. What's cracking? Everything all right? You seem kind of twitchy. To be honest, I'm sort of wigging out a little. I've never been in a tropical storm before. I'll just be super helpful. I can help you with any last bit of preparations if you like. That's nice of you to offer, but there's nothing left to do. Silly, right? Like, we're as prepared as we can be out here, and I'm still a nervous wreck. But it's not just the storm. I just have this unnerving feeling. Like something bad is about to happen. I can't explain it. Like, there's the storm, but then... I don't know, this other feeling. Like something isn't quite right. Hmm. Odd. Maybe like a demon? Trying to eat your entire butt? In one gulp? Seen it happen a million times. Howdy, Chuckles. Howdy yourself. Looks like we're in for a bit of a colorful weather, huh? You stuck for the party tonight? Uh... Actually, I was wondering if you need any help with the prep for that. What, the party? Or the storm? Cause either way, we're all set here. I'd say go pick up some ice if the nearest landmass wasn't 30 nautical miles inland. I think we'll manage though. But yeah, this part is gonna be rad, man. Everyone I've talked to about this is pretty amped. Isabel seemed a little bummed, but I guess that's just because she'd rather spend the night with her sea snails. Hey, more alcohol for us, right? This part is gonna be lit, my dude. Hell yeah. Who are you? Hey man, how's it looking? Oh hey, Dean. Back from the dive already? Guess you heard we're in for some rain, huh? Yeah, little birdie told me. Anything I can do to help batten down the hatches even though you're definitely gonna tell me no? No, we're straight as far as all that goes. The forecast says the main cell should be over us in about an hour or so. Guess we'll find out how built to last this place is. Alright, Trevor. Groove on, my dude. I'm gonna go take a nap and I'll see you at the party. It's gonna... There we go. Now back to my room full of anime posters and probably body pillows.
actually... The fuck? Is that... It's not in here. What was that? It's gotta be in the rec room, right? Cause like... I really hope this music is fucking not copyrightable. Oh boy. There's nothing I can do about that if it is. So I'm talking over it really loud. Oh boy, I might just turn down the music for the rest of you so you can't hear it. Hello, Emma. How are you holding up? Maud, because of the storm. I'm doing surprisingly well. Uh... Wanted to ask you, did you hear what sounded like a, someone screaming earlier? Screaming? What, like someone was hurt or something? No, I can't say that I have. Might have been just the sound of the storm. It's awfully loud out there. But I gotta say, this has turned out pretty nice. Not often we're working and having downtime are one and the same. I'm having a pretty good time. I'm be really pissed if this song is, is fucking copyrightable. Hey Sean, come here a sec. Hey buddy, what's up? Did I hear any screaming? Of course I did, it's a party man! Everyone's screaming! Look, I'm screaming! <laughs> hey, never mind all that. How about you kick back and relax, huh? I remember, we're getting paid for this. <laughs> Something's up. I'm leaving before this fucking music gets me copyright strike. Alright. Um, somebody definitely screamed. Maybe the security cameras? Nothing. If it's not the rec room... And it's not the security room. And it's not the crew quarters. And there's nothing on the helipad. Where could that have come from? It doesn't really leave a whole lot of places other than the fucking locker rooms. Is the lab? Isabel, can I bother you for a second? What do you need? I was sleeping and I thought I heard someone scream. Did you hear anything? I'm not sure. I've been pretty wrapped up in my work here. I thought I might have heard something like a scream, but I figured it was just the party or maybe just the storm. Now, you'll have to excuse me, Dean. The project requires my undivided attention. Alrighty. Son of a body just yet, so I'm like searching every building here and I'm not finding anything. Whoa. A shredded and bloody wetsuit. Who did I see wearing a wetsuit with this pattern earlier? I mean, I know who it is, I just can't remember their name. Um, uh, it, it was a guy who greeted me at, at, at the dock, so like... I'll have to go back there. Check and make sure he's not dead. Or not? Okay, back to the rec room. I have to report this, because like... Someone's definitely in trouble. Uh, 
Almost there. I wish I could do anything more than just kind of like casually saunter. Seriously, the Institute is paying us to leave out here while we perform our research. But because of the storm, we can't. So we get to party instead. Ergo, we are getting paid to party. How can you go wrong with that? Okay, I guess he's not worried. Hey, let me ask you something. You didn't happen to hear someone scream a bit earlier, did you? Scream? Where did you hear a scream? Well, I'm not entirely sure if it was a scream. I was asleep when I thought I heard it. But it kind of sounded like it came from towards the equipment storage. Okay, listen close, man. I need to talk to you, but not here. Meet me in the security room. Don't tell anyone. I'm coming alone. You got me? Trevor, you're kind of freaking me out a little. What's wrong? What are you... Shh. Not here. You walk out first and head over to the security room. I'll meet you there. Okay. This is, uh... Weird me out a little bit. At least we have a, a clue of where, to, of where to go. We're going to head to the security room, and Trevor's going to give us the DL as to how we're going to solve this case. Okay, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? Okay, listen. This is going to seem weird. Crazy, even. But after what I saw, I really don't know how else to describe it. Jesus, Trevor, man, you look like you saw a ghost. What happened? I think I know, but I don't want to say it. Not until you've seen this first. Here, look. You see that monitor in there? Keep watching. Where is this? Dive storage? Wait Whoa. a minute. Who is that? Whoa. Good lord. What the hell did we just see happen? Somebody just got attacked by something. Who and by what isn't exactly clear, as you can see from the video feed. But whoever it was got back up and shook it off like it was nothing. Son of a bitch. I guess this explains that wetsuit I found earlier, too. Wetsuit? What wetsuit? In the end of the video, when the victim stands up and changes clothes in the locker, I found a bloody and shredded wetsuit lying on the floor in the dive storage. It looked like the one Thomas was wearing earlier. For real? Okay, man. Shit. But look, from now on, we tell each other everything. Agreed? Sure. So that's one mystery solved, but we still don't know exactly what we're up against. What are we supposed to do now? That's gonna have to be good enough, I guess. Here, take this. Wait, you're giving me your gun? Why? Don't worry. I keep a spare and some ammo in the security locker. I need you to have this. Because you're the only one I can be sure is human right now. I could tell when you asked about the screams you heard in the rec room earlier. What do you mean, is human? I mean, between what you witnessed and what we just saw on the security monitors, somebody out there isn't who they say they are. You're telling me that someone in this facility isn't really a person? I don't think whoever was attacked is even alive anymore, Dean. Whatever that fucking thing was is now running around, pretending to be human, and nobody but you and me have any idea. Holy shit. What if there's more of these things? If that's what we're dealing with, then how are we supposed to know which one of us is really human? I don't have an answer for that yet. But we do know one person ain't on the level, and I think the first thing we need to do is neutralize the threat we're aware of. You know how to use that thing, right? Yeah, point the business end at whatever I want to die, squeeze the trigger. Just hope I don't shit myself in the process. You do whatever you need to do, bro, but get it done. We can't afford to let this thing start picking us off one by one. I'm gonna head back to the rec room, try to see what I can figure out. Get over there when you're ready to make a move on this thing. Oh, jeez. I don't want to kill people. Okay. 
I'm reasonably certain that it it's not. I haven't talked to you, have I? Hey, Tommy, can I bend your ear for a moment? You want to talk? Sure. How you doing, man? Yeah, it's Thomas. This might sound a little strange, but did you happen to hear any screaming Screamin'? earlier? Screaming? I mean, sort of. It's kind of a party if you missed it, know what I mean? Music blaring, people shaking it, getting drunk. I fucking love parties, man. <laughs> Anywho, sure beats work, am I right? Uh, Steve, you got a minute? Oh, hey Dean. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to sleep right through the party. Say, you don't look very good. Are you sick or something? Uh, I'm fine, but listen, I think I might have heard someone screaming earlier. Did anyone else hear anything like that? No, I hadn't heard anything like that. You said you were sleeping when you heard it. Could it be possible you had dreamed it? Maybe someone else heard what you were talking about. But I didn't. Sorry, look, why don't you try to enjoy the party? It's not every day the Institute signs our checks to kick back and relax. Hey, Rebecca, I have to ask you something. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh... I might as well just... I might as well just ask everybody. A scream? Not really. I mean, the music is pretty loud. I can barely hear you right now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun. Hey, you ready for this? I pull this trigger, one of two things is gonna happen. Well, see, we don't have much of a choice. Just be sure before you go popping off shots. <sighs> It's a tough call. I'm glad I'm the one to make it. I don't think I'll be able to make the game like you're not the Why are you making me do this? I don't want to do this. Thomas, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, God. Somebody, literally anybody, help me! How could this happen to me? I've made my mistakes! Well, I'd say that went as well as could be expected. You think? Man, they got a way up through the ceiling panels. Who knows where it could be right now? Shit, bullets don't kill this thing. What the fuck kind of options does that leave us with? Uh, we can't like, uh, get back to the mainland, to be quite honest. I was thinking the same thing. We don't know how this thing reproduces itself. But even one of these motherfuckers walking around in the general public unnoticed is too many. Okay, look, forget all that for right now. We need to think of what our next move is. Maybe something in the lab could... Oh, fuck! Isabel's in the lab all by herself. She has no idea what just happened here. Ah, shit. Okay, Trevor, you know... Not like I need help or anything.
Leave me to go face that thing alone again. I'm strong and handsome and all that, but god damn, my dude. Hey, friend. Isabel, we need to talk. Uh, this had better be an emergency. We have a very serious problem. I don't know if you're willing to believe this, but a member of the crew was killed by some kind of creature. The creature then went on to disguise itself as human. Son of a bitch. I knew it. The fuck do you mean, knew it? I mean, I had a feeling. I figured it couldn't have gotten too far. Allow me to explain. You see, the project we've been focusing on recently, it started out with mollusks and sea snails, until we discovered what we thought initially was a completely new species. A small green slug with yellow spotted patterns along its sides. Nothing about it seemed particularly noteworthy until one day, we discovered its more fascinating attributes. Shape-shifting. You gotta be shitting me right now. No, I'm quite serious. We placed the specimen in a terrarium alongside other species. We were shocked to find as the amount of new species would seem to disappear, more of the more common species would proportionally be present. We found that... No, not the fact that it can shapeshift. I mean, you can't possibly mean to tell me that thing that's out there picking off the crew is some aquatic slug. I've seen it on video, partially at least, and I can tell you it was no slug. This thing had legs. That's what I was getting to. We found that not only could it mimic other species at a cellular level, but in ingesting other organisms, it seemed to rapidly evolve. In many cases, acquiring attributes derivative of its prey. So you're saying this little sea slug can mimic its way up the food chain and become just like whatever it eats? I'm saying it doesn't end there. Just because it consumes an organism doesn't mean it's restricted to just taking the same form and aping its skill set. The creatures have demonstrated the capability to reassign organic matter into completely different new tissue. If left to its own devices, we found that they could produce rudimentary venom sacs, crude wings have formed, acidic saliva glands, and even initial cranial telemetric systems. We've witnessed these things move things without touching them. Oh, fuck me. Now you're telling me these things are telepathic? No, I'm saying but... they could be if the conditions were met and the evolutionary demand was concentrated enough. Essentially, they're the perfect adaptive organic machines. Oh my god. Not god, Dean. Science. Yeah? Well, one of your little science experiments is running amok and taking people's lives. Relax. There are procedures in place for this kind of situation. The Institute can fly a containment squad out here by daybreak. The storm complicates things, but I'm sure they can manage for a high-level emergency like this. Are you hearing me right now? At least one of these things is out there right now, killing people and posing in their skins as replacements. Right now, we have no way of telling who's really human. Yes, we do. I can run a test that will prove definitively among us who is genuinely human, but I'm going to need samples of everyone's blood. Here. Take these empty needles. Collect a sample from all the remaining crew members and bring them back to me. But hurry. If we wait too long, all the cells will have already assimilated and we will have missed our chance. If we examine everyone's blood quickly, we can spot the predatory cells still in the act of fusing with the host's native blood cells. That's how we'll find out who's really one of us. Sounds risky. I'd have to get pretty close to someone to extract their blood. But if this will prove definitively the identity of the creature, then it's worth the risk. Just don't get too close. The creature's awareness is greater as it jumps from host to host. It'll learn your behaviors and adapt to it. That's what it does. Be careful. This is exactly like the thing. Oh! Damn it, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to. What are you doing out here in a storm like this? Everyone in the rec room is scared to be around each other, so they all scattered to different buildings. I came out here to try and talk some sense into them. Ugh, you shouldn't be doing that, Trev. It's really not a smart idea to be out on your own right now. You out here by yourself, too. At least I think you are. You ain't got any creepy crawlers shawl shanking their way through your guts telling you to kill me right now. Right? My guess is that if I did, I wouldn't be so inclined to tell you about it, would I? No, nah, 
I guess you would. So I suppose there ain't much point in asking. Been a while since you ran off to check on Isabel. Anything you want to cop to? Actually, there is something. There's a helicopter being dispatched to come pick us up. Real pros. G-men, I guess. You know the type. Top-level operatives who know how to clean up a mess like this. Finally, some good news. So now what? We just hang tight till they get here? Not quite. We can't risk taking someone back with us who might be infected with the creature. Isabel's got a blood test she's putting together, but I need to get a sample from everyone on deck so we can make sure we're all clean. And this test is guaranteed? No chance of a false positive, is there? You'd have to ask Isabel about that. All I know is that if I don't get the samples under the microscope as quick as possible, the blood from the creature is going to be impossible to distinguish from the blood of any of us. Oh, hell, man. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Hurry up and get the samples before we run out of time and have to go back to the spray and pray technique. That's what I came up here to do. Head inside the lab and wait with Isabel. When I get back with the samples, we'll find out if anyone's not on the up and up, then we'll just have to make it until the chopper gets here. This is a horrible plan. I am going to die. Easy there. I'm not here to hurt you. It's me, Dean. I... I trust you. Kinda. What do you want? Listen, Isabel knows a way to find out who's really human, but to do it, I need to take a sample of your blood. Just a small one. Then a helicopter will come and take us all away from here. Sound good? A test? If it means I can stop cowering away and get off this rock, then yeah, you can have some of my blood. Look, I hate needles, so just do it quick, all right? Before I get second thoughts. Fuck that pinch. God, I hate needles. But you got what you needed, right? You can tell who's the monster now? Crap, that's a track down everybody? Ugh. Relax, Uma. It's me, Dean. I'm human. Listen, I need something from you. I need to take a sample of your blood so we can run it under the microscope and make sure you're really you. Like a blood test? Like my vision? The ones about the microscope? Yeah, just like that. I only need a little. Will you comply? Or are you going to make me take it from you? I suppose you have every right to want to figure out who's the monster. Okay, make it quick. I suck at needles. But I'm willing to give in to whatever it takes to figure this out. Thanks. We should know the results soon. I think it'd be best if you just stay here until we know for sure. For everyone's safety. Such a bad plan. Like, what if I take their blood and they get eaten by the monster after I leave? There's no guarantee that, you know... Everyone's who they say they are. Isabel's got a blood test that can tell us who's the creature and who's a human. There's also some kind of contingency squad flying in through the storm that's going to wipe the place. Thank God for all that, then. If they're sending in professionals, why the blood test? I would think that would be obvious, Doctor. Squad or no squad, we're still bumping elbows with a homicidal shapeshifter, and I think we'd all breathe a little easier knowing who it was. Now hold out your arm, please. Fair point. All right then, have at it. I hope Isabel's test can finally put the matter to rest. I've never seen everyone so on edge. Not that I really blame them. Okay. I'm still missing people. I'm missing Sean. The other place I haven't checked would be the locker room, I think. Maybe the bathrooms? Okay, Sean, here's the story. 
Since nobody knows which one of us is the monster, I'm going around taking blood samples. Isabel's got a test ready in the lab that can answer our little identity crisis. To that end, I'm gonna need a contribution. My blood? Or, uh, is the test gonna pick up any, uh, any other things? Relax, we're just looking for signs of the creature. Nobody's interested in what you do in your free time. I'm in kind of a rush, so would you mind? Oh no, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. Uh, you know what? Why don't you let me handle this for you? I, uh, kinda know my way around these things pretty well. Phew, there we are. Boy, that takes me back. Better days I can tell you that much. That was a weird response. Sean might be infected. So, this test of yours, could we fully count on it? Is there any chance of an error? Tell me now or consider the blood on your hands. So long as you get the samples under the microscope before every single invasive predatory cell has fully assimilated, you'll notice an obvious difference. And it better be obvious. Don't think you're in the clear just yet, Professor, as far as I'm concerned. We all need to pass the test like our life depends on it. Because it does. I'd expect nothing less. Here. You'll be needing a sample of my blood as well. All right, that should do it. Put it under the microscope and see for yourself. I'm human. Okay. So I'm still human. Wait a It's Isabel. Trev, your turn. Just need a little sample of your blood and we can all know for a fact what you and I already know. Okay, man. Just make it quick. Let's be done with it. Okay, you're just gonna feel a little pinch here. Man, I've gotten shots before. Just do it already. There, see? No big deal. Yeah, it's Isabel. Okay. You have all I can offer. Only the microscope can exonerate me now. You're looking for transparent cells with wriggling tendrils on all sides. Find that, and you'll find your monster. I don't want to do this. Oh my Christ, Trevor, help me! I can't run. Ah! Damn it! Oh god! Oh. Jesus Christ! Damn thing broke the microscope. Blood samples won't prove anything now. Any ideas? Shit, not really, man. But to be completely honest. I don't feel 100% comfortable being around you or anyone else right now. I just want to be left alone until that government team arrives. Those fuckers will probably try to lock it in some kind of cage and study it. 
We need to end this now, Trevor. That thing's been tearing through the crew one by one, and you would just let it go? Look, man, I get it. I really get it. You're scared. I'm scared. We're all fucking scared. But help is on the way. We're researchers, man, not trained monster hunters. Let's just wait till the rescue shows up. There might not be anyone left to rescue when they get here if we don't kill it now. Taking this thing out was your idea in the first place, and so far you've done next to nothing to see it through. Uh, I don't want to go out there and fight this thing. But I kind of have to. Somebody destroyed the microscope while I was out trying to kill the creature. We have no absolute way of figuring out which one of us is human. Oh, well, that's just great. So what now? Are we just fucked or what? I don't know, maybe... I'm looking into an alternate way to do this. For now, it would be best if we all just stayed away from each other. What about the specials flying in? What happens if we can't kill off the creature in time? I don't know, I'm assuming they take us to some headquarters and run similar methods of testing. Isabel told me if the cells aren't examined quickly, a blood test is ineffective. So I just don't know. Screwdriver. What does that do? There's only one other person who like worked with slugs closely, and that's the guy in the security room. I guess I'll, I'll just walk my way over and ask everybody and be like, "Hey, what's your ideas?" Well, the blood test won't work again. Someone sabotaged the microscope. I'll need to figure out another way to decipher the identity of the creature. Do you think it was the beast who did it? We can't rule it out. Frankly, it's the most logical option. Look, if it helps, I keep a spear gun in my locker. Take this key down to dive storage and grab it if you want. Thanks. This might actually help. Uh, what concerns me is that even people who are being helpful are technically not exempt from being innocent because Isabel was infected and she was a creature so like I can't rule anybody out Oh, thank Christ. Kills with one hit. Alrighty. Now, what I could do is kill off everybody, presumably, and then just be the last man standing, but I don't like that option. Something got to the microscope. We won't be able to tell the creature apart using samples anymore. We might not have to. There has to be another way. I know this might sound crazy, but I've been known to see things sometimes, like a glimpse into what might be. You're talking about what? Some kind of ESP? Like clairvoyance or something? Something like that. And right now, I'm seeing frost. I'm seeing several figures standing in a circle on a dark night, standing out in snow. They're all exhaling smoke like chimneys. All except for one. Hmm. You might be onto something, Uma. 
I'm not sure, but you might have just given me an idea. Yeah. So we're, we're doing everything from, from the thing, pretty much. So if I... Okay, you're a human. Good. All right. Again, the the thing is one of my favorite movies of all time. So if if we're literally going off of the thing strats, I am the most equipped person here to kill this thing. Buddy. Come on, man. Somebody sabotaged the microscope in the lab, so now the blood test is no longer an option. You mean to tell me we have no definitive way of telling a human from an imitation? God help us. That's exactly what I'm telling you. I'm trying to figure out another method, but we're running out of options. It would be best if you just stay away from everyone else for a while. I should say so. Damn thing could be any one of us. Oh, I hope that helicopter arrives soon. Just wait here. I'm going to try to figure this out. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. What is happening? Is, is that it? Is it finally dead? It looks like it. Wait a minute, I think I hear something outside. Could it be? Oh my god. I, I, I did it! I killed him! Oh. Oh no. I'm gonna need not a lot more AC and a lot more harpoon guns. No news yet on just how widespread infection has become, but we have been told here at Channel 12 that attacks have spread rapidly. Violence erupted across the downtown area tonight as people fleeing a coffee shop massacre were gunned down by military forces. Officials have claimed it was not known which of the individuals were actually human and which were creatures from another world. Reports of massive fires across the city tonight as chaos continues to sweep the area. The entities now being referred to as creeps have overrun nearly every part of town, leaving survivors to wonder if this could be the dawning of the end of the human race as we know it. Panic-fueled riots have overtaken several business districts in the area as the invasion continues. Suspicion is at an unprecedented level as townsfolk begin to fear their neighbors and loved ones of actually being one of the creatures. Police aren't sure just how it began, 
but have been quoted as saying it is unlike anything they have ever encountered before. Military forces were quickly overcome on the city's west side this evening as what has only been described as some kind of alien life form overtook the area, consuming those unlucky citizens in their path. Mass evacuation attempts are being made as people flee the horde of unidentified creatures, infiltrating city homes and businesses, many being halted by military officials. The Pentagon has issued a tri-state-wide quarantine in efforts to stop the spread of the epidemic, while rescue crews set up relief tents in designated hotspots along the perimeter of the infection zone. <laughs> Rank Kurt Russell. Wait a minute. So was there a way for me to have saved more people? Because this implies... Hmm. I don't know. That... That's literally the best case scenario. Because, like, other than immediately shooting Isabel, which I have no reason to do so... I don't think I could have saved anyone else. Hmm. Interesting. Well, you know, I kept most of the crew alive. We lost Thomas, Isabel, and Steve. Uh, but Trevor, Rebecca, Uma, and Sean, with Dean, uh, managed to survive. So, I'm going to link this in the description. Um, if you guys do find anything out about the game, like if you could actually save it, everyone uh let me know but thank you so, uh, so much for watching and roll the outro hey congratulations you made it to the end why well, leave a like or a comment in the comment section below while you're at it or subscribe and join the cub collective today that being said i want to thank you all for watching and i hope to catch you in the next one bye for now